hello this is an empty list video and I'm going to show you how to make something similar to this today it's a signature and first off I'm going to open my renders they're of Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z and yep here we go I'm just going to open them up now and this is my collection of pictures <laughs> Dragon Ball Z and I'm going to find three images of Vegeta which I'm going to use in this signature um, here we go, we're just going to find them, because I have so many pictures. <laughs> there's one. There's the second one I'm going to select in a sec. Because, yeah. Yeah, because I can um, select more than one time at that second point. And now I'm going to select more than one by hitting control while I'm opening, while I'm selecting them. And that will let you open more than one picture at a time just a little side note before you start making signatures um, I suggest you have a good array of brushes available to you because they'll be a lot more easy to make once you have brushes available to you and um, it's taking long to open the images there's the first one that's the main image I'm going to be using so the pick for the signature the signature by the way I think since I made this video a long time ago, I think it's at 400 pixels by 200 pixels, but I'm not entirely sure because I, I recorded this video a long time ago and I'm only now producing it. Okay, so as you can see, there are three pictures, or are there only two? There's a third one popped up now. Um, there are three pictures that I'm going to use for this image. I'm just going to minimize all of them and file new. Now here's where we'll come out and show you what the size is. The size is custom and it's going to be okay. Oh right, so it's 500 pixels by 150. Uh, don't worry about that. If you get that, mine did it wrong. I'm going to have to uh, go to edit, adjustment, sorry, image, m adjustments, or image, <laughs> image pixel aspect ratio and put it to square. Sorry about that and um, yeah here's the signature base the original one is made on 400 by 200 anyway fill the background with black and you want to get a decent set of brushes that you like you, you want to find one that you think works I think this ice grunge whatever it is works um, I'll post a video soon of how to download brushes if you don't know how to download them and you can just start brushing them brushing on uh, the image with the brushes. It's a nice idea to have many brushes selected. And I swap the colours over and now I'm painting in black so that it looks a bit more evenly done. And there we go again, some more black, just adding it in. Now I'm almost I'm just gonna change my brush set to that one grunge brushes. And this is one of my favourite brush packs, one of, I mean, I have loads of favourites, but this is one of the best, and I'm going to paint in white, I think. Yep, painting away in white. I'm just going to begin to choose some different brushes. And yeah, that looks pretty good at the moment. Yep, keep brushing, just find a brush that you like, brush sets even you like and you just want to make a new layer and you don't want to do anything to the blend mode you want to fill that with a colour you like I choose a dark blue in this but you can choose whatever colour you want and you'll set the mode to colour so that it sort of goes through um, now you want to go to your first image this one in my case and drag it in and you can close that now close the image and now what you want to do is you want to resize that image because it's too big to be in the picture so you want to hold shift while you drag the corner down and you can there you go you can drag it to be a certain size and that's how big I'm going to have mine it looks a bit different because on the other image on the first sig it's um, bigger so this might not look as good and also I'd created the sig way before I actually made the video I'm going to drag that one in, and this one's really big. I'm just going to close that. This one's really big, 
so what you're going to do now is you're just going to change the size bring it way down holding shift again making sure you're holding shift so you can keep the proportions right it's a little bit smaller that's quite small but still hit ok or enter or return on the keyboard I actually bring the size up a little bit and there you go now you want to edit transform and flip horizontal that will make it so that it's facing the other way and it, look, it looks better in my opinion for the sake get your main render in now and drag it in <coughs> sorry about that and close that now now you're just going to resize that because it's also quite big and you drag it all the way down bring it down more now that's a bit small bring it up a bit there we go that's about the right size a bit bigger there we go that's that's right now you want to go to the layer and you want to select the bottom layer and bring the opacity down a bit um, it's going down mine's about 50 I think 59 percent and I'll do the same for that layer you can choose the certain opacity you want this is 54 percent for that one I think it just looks better the top layer I'm going to go filter blur Gaussian blur and this is the effect I'm showing you today uh, anything between 3 pixels and 6 pixels works pretty well and you can do now what you want to do is go to edit and fade Gaussian blur change the blend mode to darken and you get this sort of cartoon drawn effect and that's the sort of thing I'm looking for now you want to get a text font no, I mean a text, sorry, a text um, for the SIG, so just select anywhere to put on the SIG some text. Just going to select right there, and I'm going to type in the name that I use on the forum, or insert name for this particular video. Obviously, you'd want to use the, <coughs> the name that you want to use for the forum. Uh, as you can see, I use a different font because it's slightly... Uh, different. Anyway, you want to change the font to whatever you want. I'm going to change mine to Anime Ace, I think it's called. And I'm going to change the size to be a little bit smaller. And because it's smaller now, I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to select Blending Options on the image, and I'm going to add an outer glow select that and change the color to white hit OK and hit OK again and that, that's pretty basic that's pretty basic uh, thing make a new layer get the uh, select all this is for the border we'll go f oh sorry file oh yeah file save as or even maybe not <laughs> So I, I muck up at the end, I don't know how to use Camtasia. Anyway, that was your video. I hope you enjoyed it. Basic.